Hello, my name is Cargs82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Resins Season 3. I am just currently looking at some of the circuits because we are going to be switching over to some better circuits. Uh, we still have a little ways to go with that, um, but I am also crafting up a large amount of the... Oh. I'm short. Thought I had that mathed out correctly. Oh, nope, there it is. I did. All right. Uh, yeah, so I am crafting up a whole bunch of components because uh, we're finally at the point where we have enough resources to do that. Uh, and it's just going to be much quicker to do it that way. Um, I can actually just do it in the assembler recipe i don't need to do it in a thing not that this one doesn't take any resources or anything but yeah so i will dump this i gotta change that otherwise i'll just make 2x tin wires also thank you for mentioning that if i want to do the like 2x cables and 4x cables uh you could just do it in the wire mill i I, to be honest, I had kind of forgotten about that because um, I was kind of used to the A system just crafting it all up in the multi-block, but I didn't even think about doing it in there. I just kind of like was like, oh, it's probably a higher tier. Um, so, yeah, instead of crafting up the small ones and combining them, uh, yeah, you can just do it directly in the single multi-block or single machine instead of the multi-block all right so like i said we are crafting up the basic circuit assembler uh, because it does make uh, getting these things easier uh, if we want to do those circuits and uh, eventually we will be switching over to these circuits and then very far in the future uh, we will be switching over to microprocessors, but uh, yeah, that's that's a little ways away. Uh, the nice thing about these recipes is that you, you can use the SMDs, and the SMDs you can just get so many more. Uh, so you get like 16 as opposed to 8 kind of thing, and uh, from less resources, so... Uh, eventually we will be doing that but uh, for now i am just going to get the the basic assembler so i do need to craft up those yeah and again once we get that they will get easier to craft up moving forward um, but unfortunately we are kind of stuck with this recipe All right, so let me get that crafted up, and I may also, after that, I think we're going to kind of get the extruder, because that's an easy one, and that will make some of these components. Uh, things like the, the lathe, the rods, you get a better ratio, so uh, if you can do anything that will get a better ratio, go for it. I don't think. Yep. Dang it. <laughs> well, we're going to need more copper cables. Uh, that's why I was like, hey, is there going to be a conflict? There absolutely was because I didn't think about that. Uh, but we do need the. We do need copper cables, so that wasn't. Wasn't too bad. So let me just do that really quick. Do that. I do kind of miss having um, a multi block where we just have a different circuit in each thing and you don't have to worry about conflicting recipes. But uh, all right, so there we go. Like I said, I could have done that in a crafting table. You're not using tools for it, so it doesn't matter. But it's pretty cool using the machines that we have. So, all right, 
let me come back uh, with the basic circuit assembler. Okay, we are back. Got everything for the circuits. I just need the diodes. There we go. So hopefully that is the last time I have to do it. That recipe. There we go. Basic circuit assembler. Uh, I don't think the recipes require a lot of power. So we will just throw them underneath i don't use it a ton also it's really hard to really hard to reach the cables when they are completely surrounded like that all right i'll put the any back all right cool so at this point i think i actually didn't we accidentally make soldering it we did all right do I have, I've used all the mercury, so I'm actually going to, I thought I put it in my inventory. I'm just going to convert all this to the liquid version and dump it in the circuit assembler. You can use lead or tin, but I don't think there is any reason to. Yeah, I've reused that. Okay. So we got that. Now, next thing is, what do I want? So this requires pistons and motors. Now the motors require the rods. So I'm almost thinking we should go with the extruder first. Um, because getting the extruder will make getting these rods and the gears easier yeah I think we'll do that way but now we can do these circuits but we'll do them in the circuit assembler instead so it's going to be this recipe with the soldering alloy so now we just need the one circuit plate copper wires and two circuits instead of the three that we need there so that is kind of one of the main reasons I wanted to get that. But we can also do... I don't think we can do this one yet, because that requires the precision laser engraver. We haven't got the bulls going yet in the blast furnace. So we're still kind of stuck on these. But now I can do them in the circuit assembler as well. SMD, these require polyethylene, which we will get to, but I need to pump oil for that. Wonder if a prospector. I think I didn't actually use these in the other series. All right, it just requires a sensor. Does require hydroxide though. Is that? Yeah, it does require. Oh, that one's different. That's HV. All right, I've never actually looked at these because I never actually I used them before because they don't have much durability. But now that it like marks all the stuff on your. It, it like do the fluids or the veins uh, i think they're a bit more viable now there is the prospector which is steel i mean we could yeah that's getting a bit <laughs> we could do this which is just some basic circuits steel and these sensors but you do need to put something that blows up is this one no that one i don't think that uh, prospector marks the the things if i want to do that we actually need to use these which is hydrogen oxygen oh well that's easy <laughs> 
obviously hydroxide, and then sulfuric acid. All right, that's actually not that bad. Now, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, do is there coins for some of these gases? There are the diodes, which I probably should just go ahead and do. We have a plethora of these coins. So as soon as that's done, I should just get them. And I should probably even get some of those. We have a thousand coins. All right, ethanol, the glue, hydrogen, creosote. There is sulfuric acid though, but it requires, ah, that requires tier three. That's sad. I'm just looking to see if I have unlocked anything else. Nothing. I mean, yeah, okay. Some of these ported rotors might be kind of helpful. Bronze fluid pipes, but I don't know if they're... The circuit boards are good, but again, tier three. All right, let me think about what I want to do. Probably the extruder. Okay, we are back. I've gone ahead and done some crafting up. Um, I did process our ruby dust down for the alumina, and we got chrome from it, which we will need for stainless steel, but we don't need it yet. But I needed the alumina um, because one of the quests, the next quest actually required four motors, uh, which normally I wouldn't have done. Uh, I would have just crafted the one we needed for the extruder because that would have made those cheaper. But I was like, yeah, we might as well uh, just go for it and craft it up. Even though it kind of cost a few extra resources. But uh, there is that. Oh, that actually gives us a couple things. Just open those really quick. Glass, ball of moss. Yeah, I'll take it. Although I think we can now. I haven't even really thought about it, but I think we can actually do. Oh, no, we can't. Uh, I think it's the next tier up. Is it uh, not the arc furnace? Yeah, MV. All right, almost there with the glass. And then I can finally uh, finish this uh, finish this building. I've just been kind of like putting it off for until I get that recipe. All right, ball of moss. There you go. I'm just trying to keep my inventory organized. Okay, so there we go. Uh, everything relatively easy especially now that we um i've unlocked the the things we actually got silicon dioxide from brick dust i think i electrolyzed brick dust yeah so i got this silicon dioxide can we electrolyze that for silicon no, but we probably will need it for mica at some point. All right, I do need copper. Nope, that's redstone alley. All right, so I'm going to craft up. Just debating, should I just go for maybe 4x cables? Uh, we have an absolute ton of copper. As you can see, I went mining in the nether for... Uh, I needed copper, so I was like, let me just hit up a tetra tetrahedrite vein or whatever it's called. Because um, we also needed the stibnite. So uh, we got a bunch of antimony and some uh, a lot of copper because you do get four tetrahedrite per ore i think so um, and i leveled up my pickaxe so now we can do cobalt which i have 
actually I did go mine. Um, but then I realized I didn't know what I wanted to do with that cobalt. I couldn't remember what the plan was. So, all right. All right, let's just go ahead and we'll do... We'll do the 4x, just kind of preparing for the future. Instead of doing the 1x cables and then having to replace them. Um, all right, so now this we're going to have to be slightly. Yeah. Slightly careful with. And this is this is about to get kind of crazy in here. Especially since I can't. That makes me so nervous. <laughs> and it's not dyed. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put this here. And I could even output up to that if I, if I want to. I, I'm not uh, doing anything in there. But yeah, unfortunately, the basic electrolyzer, you do need the cells. Um, we're going to have a couple more machines, so might as well do that. Oh, I saw that, like, flicker. Oh, man, this is getting, <laughs> this is getting bad. For sure. All right, I, I'm probably going to craft up the chemical reactor sooner than later as well. Uh, let me leave that front one off until uh, we do that. Just so I can start uh, crafting up the spray cans so I can paint the wires. Because I really don't like having them not painted. Uh, just I like being able to look at them and see exactly what tier we're at. I didn't. No, I didn't connect that. Okay. So we got an extruder. Now I do need the extruder molds unfortunately those are these are not the extruder ones i have aluminum brass in there i totally screwed up actually let's check the chest no i don't have aluminum brass it's because the, the recipe was, like, really weird. I think it's six. We're going to need a bunch of this, so we might as well. It's six steel. That's steel. It is steel. And, like, one obsidian. But I actually have obsidian dust in here as well. Is that what it is? I can't remember the ratio for... Wait, what am I talking about? We're not doing alumite. I, that's the recipe for, like, alumite. We're doing aluminum brass, which is this in copper. I'm just going to break the... I was trying to make alabite, and then I got all a bunch of nuggets, and I was trying to get the exact amount. So, you know what? Let's break that, get that out of there. And, uh... Yeah, I think I got messed up with the... What I want to do... Yeah, I guess. I got messed up with the the obsidian. Because that, like, melts down into two ingots or whatever, where the other ones only do one. I think that's where I got screwed up. And then I uh, tried to fix it. Oh, we actually have one of those. And I have some of that. So, actually, I'm going to... I'm just going to melt these down. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with them. We don't have a forming press. And anyway, you need the actual mold. It's like a that doubles it, but I can do that. It's two ingots and three. No, one ingot of copper and three of aluminum. That's what it is. All right. I am just completely forgetting the ratio here. All right. First one we're going to do, though, is rod.
if I can find the... <laughs> there. That's going to be easier to find. Uh, extruder shape rod. So I need casting form. There we go. Um, and there's other ones we're definitely going to need. All the pipes, rotors, small gear. That's the one I want right now. Didn't that? Because that's there. All right. Yeah, because that gear is really expensive. It's three ingots now, and this will get it down to one ingot. I think I got those. I got it from a loot bag, I think. All right. There and there, I th think. With the, I think with the the large gear, I think that's all the the more efficient recipes. I th I think that's everything. The extruder is definitely helpful though. Um, so I'm gonna need small aluminum gears there. Boop. Oh my goodness, so much easier than trying to do that recipe. And now that we actually have the rods, we actually get a 2 to uh, 1 ratio instead of doing the lathe, which is 1 and a half kind of thing. So now we actually get 1 to 2. All right, cool. Uh, so... I don't need bending machine right away. That is helpful though for like double plates and stuff. I think chemical reactor might be my next one. And I could even get the bronze. Maybe I'll do the bronze rotor. Cause to be honest, this is, this is much easier as well. Cause then it's just five ingots in the extruder. As opposed to melting it down or, well, I can't melt down bronze and stuff anyway. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to continue getting some of these extruder shapes and uh, we will come back. I'll get the chemical reactor, I think, built next. Okay, there is the chemical reactor. That's where it's going much, much quicker with the circuit assembler. I was like, I'm pretty sure we'll get a ding because all these. That a required. That is a required quest. <laughs> Holy cow. Is that I have no idea what that. Is that complete if you have the LV extruder? Um, yeah, I'm not about to make all these right this second because that is a lot of steel. Although I can convert some of these, like the this mold, I'll probably never, probably never use, and that gear I probably won't use, at least for a long time. So. Probably can just melt them down, but I am actually getting low on lava too. I'll have to go get some more. But we got the chemical reactor. Just trying to figure out how the heck am I going to do this? I guess I'll just. Place it there. Uh, I'm going to have to figure this out. Okay, I do think I'm going to... I'm going to get a bunch of silicon. I think I get that from clay, right? Clay dust. Uh, clay dust and electrolyzer. No, there's something in an electrolyzer gets... Silicon. What was it? 
plate. It wasn't not Zircon. One of these. No, apparently you can get it from Obsidian, but we're not doing it that way. Ah, that's right. Sodalite. You can get a ton of it from Sodalite. And I have like tons of it somewhere. There's Sodalite. Alright, and I think you get like 10 per yeah, you got 12 per ore, so I have a ton of that. Uh, so we're going to get a bunch of silicon so I can get more redstone uh, redstone alloy cables. And that way I can actually move the, the blast furnace. Uh, since these don't have any loss, I'm trying to remember what... Don't think... We just double check again. I remember we screwed this up last time. Uh, there is. Like, where is the chemical? There it is. I'm blind. All right. No, that's a zero. There we go. All right, cool. So we'll do that and then put that in the cans for us. Oh. That's way more than I was, uh, <laughs> that I realized. All right, I'm going to have to put some more of that in there. All right, that's not as easy as I thought that was going to be. I was thinking, uh, I'm going to need more, aren't I? I'm going to need, like, way more. Holy cow. Why did I think that was only, like, one? It's been a long time since, uh, I had to do this manually. I was thinking it was just 244 or whatever. 288. Okay, another machine here. Basic fluid canner, so I can actually fill these things. Actually, did I... Is there a ding? No ding. There is actually not a quest for that. Okay. Do empty can. There. There. Ah, there we go. All right. Also, uh, totally screwed that up uh, again. It's kind of annoying if you don't have anything in the, if you just put salt in the sulfuric, even if there is, there's no circuit or whatever, it does. Oh, I screwed myself up there. <laughs> uh, it's the wood. Ah, oh, shoot. All right. That was my fault. All right. But, uh, I guess I should have done lapis first, but all right, there we go. It just makes me feel better that uh, I can see that the the cable is cable is colored. Let me do that. It's actually eight. You need eight total. And I have salt somewhere. Thankfully, salt is really easy to get. It's actually right under the base, too, so it's uh, really easy. And I ended up with more hydrochloric acid as well. Oh, also, uh, be careful with which shapes are doing because they look very similar and I screwed that up and I, I basically lost some of my aluminum brass because once you do that you lose that um, but you can melt the the mold back down to get the correct one so the extruder shapes uh, just got to be careful with that I think I might have enough sulfuric acid. I might have to do one more, which is kind of a pain. 
So I use this one for rubber, and now I have that one and other stuff in the the output bus for this chemical reactor. Actually, I think we're good. All right, we are back. Gone ahead and made more drills or some more extruder patterns. Got the spray cans up and in. So, uh, that makes it, I just like that so much better. I'm just so used to seeing the colored cables that it looks weird when they aren't. All right. I'll probably, I'll, I'll finish doing that, but, uh, yeah, that's going to make it much easier to see when I am, especially when I'm doing different tiers like right next to each other I really don't like having them just the generic cable color it doesn't 100% stop explosions but it I just like it all right cool so with that, I'm also crafting up a steel prospector. Now, I don't know how great this one is going to be. We'll give it a go. Uh, I did want to do pr prospect for oil and believe to do that with this one we have to right click on bedrock so probably do I'm just trying to think what if I have a vein that's like really close to the ground eh, I probably don't might be easier just to dig down I do have, why don't I just dig down from here, maybe? Where is the, there it is. This isn't very far, but. Yeah, I'll dig down to bedrock. All right, I dug down and I also fell into a cave with a angry witch. So that was a bit terrifying, but uh, okay. So we are here. The 24% makes me a little sad because this does not have a lot of durability. All right, but we did find one. I don't know if it actually has a 24% um, chance, but it did work. All right, so it only used 15% durability, actually. I thought it was going to use like 300. Okay, so let's see what we have. We are in... I can't tell what the heck that is. Light oil. We're in a light oil thing, which isn't ideal. I could really quickly go over this way and see if I can find another one. Oh my goodness. The gravel. Really with the gravel? We're almost there. And apparently we get we get experience from our pickaxe. Has it always done that as much? Pretty sure it didn't do that much. All right, I think we're. We'll go like two more. All right, now we're in a, for sure, different. There we go. And natural gas. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'm going to continue looking for, I just kind of want regular, 
plain old oil um because we're gonna want to get ethylene and I think i mean worst case scenario we could always use um regular oil but uh yeah we'll um We'll figure out which one I want. Usually regular oil. You just get like a better ratio of the, the byproducts from oil are the, there they are. Yeah, not heavy oil, but like just regular old oil. So heavy fuel, light fuel, Sulfuric naphtha and sulfuric S. Uh, obviously, we can't do the distillation tower yet, but uh, we can do the the single block. So that over light oil. So what was it like fifty? Yeah. So one hundred fifty. If we get like sulfuric heavy fuel. It's 50 to 15, so it, you need just need to pump a lot more. I don't know. It doesn't like super matter at this point, um, but uh, I don't know. Something to possibly think about. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.